What's up, you guys? It's Miami Knight, your master grief educator and trainer, also known as your grief guide goddess. been some time but I wanted to come back on and thank all of my followers and subscribers and to my new community at Course Careers. Hi and welcome. So I wanted to share a little bit about who I am and my personal background because a lot of you, um, like I said, my new community may not have heard my story. I am a gun violence suicide law survivor. My story has been shared on several platforms. Um, so go check those out. You can go to my website, MiamiNightLLC.com, or also check out other videos and learn more about my life-altering experiences. So I started my coaching brand out in 2018. I am also a Reiki master and also a meditation guide. I am a master grief coach and also specialist. I'm a two-time author. I, um, of course, I'm the executive producer of It's the Miami Night Show Grief Talk. Um, I am a shamanic wisdom practitioner practitioner, a certified grief counselor, and also a sacred sexuality success mindset coach as well. And also I am certified in a diverse skill set as mental as a mental health professional. I've been featured in Newsweek and a national and local prevention campaign. Um, I've also done an article with Voyage ATL and Canvas Rebel. So that's my personal background. Just wanted to be able to share that with you on today. So let's talk about Course Careers. It's this amazing platform where you can easily transition into tech anywhere from two to three weeks until however long it takes for you to complete the self-paced program. There are currently, I think, three options, um, which is technical sales, there's an IT course, and also digital marketing. So like most people on YouTube, I watched that inspiring viral video, um, how to make 300K in tech in under a year with Anthony O'Neill. He was interviewing Cyrus Harbin, um, Tech is the New Black on YouTube. Then I followed it up with several other um, of course, career graduates like Ren Harthon and the husband and wife team, Atia and Justin um, Warthen, I think that's their last name. But anywho, there are so many others who have been interviewed by the founder, Troy um, Bugholt, that really caught my attention. And so I ended up join, joining the platform which I just initially paid my um, first installment and I began my journey. And I think that was like back in early February. So I wanted to share with you a little bit about the course and what the structure of the course is. And then I'll talk about my journey with it. But there is an amazing instruction instructor um, and I went through the digital marketing program. And my instructor was Rich UX, and like a self, it's self paced. In that initial um, introduction, was theory and concepts, uh, marketing fundamentals, marketing channels. Um, we learned about our skills uh, and processes, which was content marketing, blogging, SEO, social media, of course, image and video editing, email marketing, copywriting you name it, um, digital advertising, of course, WordPress, digital analytics, um, career prep, which was a great thing to learn also how to upscale your LinkedIn profile, how to, you know, redo your resume, um, do Google and social media um, presence, showing that interview and career success partnerships and information on a graduate portal that you will also have. There was at least, I think, seven exams. There's a study guide. Um, you can do a practice final exam. Also the final exam in which you can take twice for free. Um, you can take twice for free but if you have to take an additional um, testing, uh, right now it's $50 for a retest. And there are so many other opportunities to complete many projects, which are optional, but you can also get to add those things to your portfolio if you complete them. Um, there is also a postgraduate project as well. So after passing the exam, you will be asked to complete some personal information, um, update your resume or upload your resume, um, go through some preferences, screening, and um, some things uh, in regards to in regarding your 
identity. So once you complete that profile, it will take you to your graduate portal dashboard, and then that will guide you to be able to download your certification. And then you can upload that and other shareable links um, and regarding um, course careers, um, all of the affiliate links that you'll need, you'll have that there. So that's pretty much of the program and what it looks like. Um, and I'm also going to share with you um, like my personal experience. So what's up you guys? I also wanted to share with you my guilty pleasures, um, commitment, and also a little bit about procrastination. So I'm sharing this because a part of my journey with Course Careers, I had all three of those. So for instance, my guilty pleasure is always signing up for these amazing programs, um, signing up for several Zooms. You know, I don't know if this is uh, something that you all do, but you see this perfect opportunity to sign up for something and you sign up for it and you're so um, geeked up about it. You're like, yes, this is something that I really want to do. But when the day comes or the time comes or the experience happened, you're not as excited about it when you um, signed up for it maybe two weeks ago. Um, but yes, that's one of my guilty pleasures that I love um, to read. Uh, all about this amazing content online and all these amazing coaching programs that are online and then they say hey sign up for my free you know um webinar and then i sign up for it and it's like Ugh. so that's one of my guilty pleasures so i'm bringing that in to also share with you about what commitment looks like um being a part of a self-paced program now i have a self-paced program so it's very important that you really have to be committed to it and making the commitment to do it is really you know showing up and doing the work now it wasn't that i wasn't showing up doing the work I definitely logged on, uh, especially in my first two weeks. I logged on on the program and I listened. I even took, I took so many, many notes, highlighting everything. Um, I went back and I listened to a couple of things before I would take um, the quizzes. And then uh, things kind of tapered off because life got in the way. I was also taking another course at the same time. Um, so that kind of had me stalled a little bit. And that's where procrastination kind of creeps in. Um, it kind of creeps in because I had so many other things that I was experiencing and a lot of other things that was on my to-do list that I had to complete um, for other projects that I was working on. So it's very easily for you to um, procrastinate um, and not be as committed if you have a lot going on. So I would challenge you, if you are going to start the program, make sure that um, you are ready. It's a self-paced program, so you can take your time as much as you want, but I want to also remind you that when it's time to take the test, if you haven't been constantly reviewing the information or studying, or if you took this part two weeks ago or a month ago, and now you're ready for the exam and it's like two months later, you're going to either be cramming a lot or you're going to have to be reviewing a lot. So that's why I would say just make sure that you, um, in between time, yes, you know, um, make sure you're doing your self-care. But I also want you to be very um, aware of your, your time in taking breaks because it's going to really... Um, make a difference at the end where you get ready to actually take your final exam. So let's talk about my journey with being an entrepreneur and also desperately needing the digital marketing skills. Well, having your own business, if you have your own website, if you manage your social media accounts, um, it can all be overwhelming, and especially if you do not know what you're doing. So um, really for me, it was just me kind of learning um, by default of what to do but I really wanted to understand like how was I ranking on um, Google and how was I doing on those platforms as well um, learning how to um, also you know send out all of you know send out my posts um, to schedule 
all of my posts at particular times. I didn't know anything about that. I knew just a little bit about email marketing and I was really trying to build my list. But when it's just you as an entrepreneur and you're trying to do all these things, it can be very, very overwhelming. So for me, taking the digital marketing course was really for me as an entrepreneur to better my um, business and to um, basically be more aware of how I was promoting, how I was putting out content, um, what my, um, like I said, what did all my data look like? How many, you know, how much conversion, um, what my conversion rates look like, um, how, like when I was making a sale, what did that look like? And how was I able to, um, complete different campaigns, um, from sales and what was making a difference, um, in those sales. And, and so, um, once I really figured out that, hey, I need more assistance in this, and I did not at the mo at the time, um, especially two years ago, have the opportunity to be able to pay someone else to do it for me. So I was like, I'm just gonna wait for it and wait for it. And I wait, waited for it and waited for it. And I really found out the answer to that was for me to get a certification in it and to learn it and also to be able to um, work and with and, you know in other collaborations like this is not only for my business this is for me to also partner with other business to help them um, be able to understand more about the digital marketing space and how to rank better how to even look better how to even make better um, digital content and um, so um, that was my reasoning for it and I'm so happy that I made this choice